Okay, um, so we are going to go ahead and get started here in just a few minutes. Um, there are a few technical things that I do need to try and sort out just super quick. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, um, we are going to go ahead and get started here. We are starting with Hollow Knight today. Um, just wanted to give a brief introduction to this game. Um, this is one of my favorite games I've played in a long time. Um, I quite love this game. The soundtrack is probably one of the best um, I've in encountered in an indie game. Uh, although indie games characteristically have really solid soundtracks. Um, we are going to go through this. This is the second time I've played this game. Um, I had a playthrough once that ended pretty well. Um, if I hit start game, I think there are two save files. This is the first one. Uh, we got a 97%. Um, and then the bottom one is a friend of mine. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. I'm not on Silver Soul, um, but that's okay. I am also playing with a controller too, so... Um, we're going to hop right into this and enjoy it. You also have a fear of failure. Sounds like your worst nightmare. Um, yeah, this is, it's a challenging Souls-like game, um, Metroidvania Souls-like, which I personally think is, um, makes for an amazing combination. It, it's not an easy game, um... But I think it's a lot more relaxed and less involved than uh, standard Dark Souls. But here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, this this is really not having it, is it? At least I'm getting. My FPS counter is 307. I'm getting so many frames. 288, 312. Oh, man. Look at that. Okay. So we... I'm thinking we may have to hop into the options to adjust a few things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. Essentially, the concept is you, you're just this little traveler guy who's running... Um, to this town called, um, I think it's Hollow Nest. Dirtmouth, sorry. It's called Dirtmouth. Um, and it's just this little town uh, hanging out. And, yeah, let me see if I can't cap these FPSs. These frames, let's see if we can't stop some of this skittering. Uh, we will hit you. 
final turn. Oh, well, it's fine. Um... Okay. That doesn't seem to be fixing that. Okay. Let's try that. Keep B-Sync on. Seems to be a bit better. I think at least. Alright. Um, so like I said, I am playing through on a controller. Um, for those of you who have not played this game, it's just a standard Metroidvania um, two-dimensional platformer that is has a high focus on gear gating. Um, things like that, which is makes for a lot of fun. Um, it's challenging and has some Souls-like um, mechanics to it. But personally, I think it it's, makes a unique genre of its own. Um, okay. Bloop, 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 bloop. Gear gating? Uh, yes, so gear gating is essentially this concept in um, a lot of games that, um, games like this, where you can't progress without receiving a specific gear item. You see it a lot in games like Legend of Zelda and um, and uh, like Darksiders, things like that, where you have to get a specific gear item that lets you traverse something. Um, that you and then you go back and you can now access new areas and stuff like that. That's a design technique called gear gating. Um, it works really well in games such as these, where exploration is a big key. Um, but this concept, um, using soul, lets you uh, heal stuff like that, which is super useful. Um, you also end up using soul. Oh no! Later on as well. Okay. Boom. Charge. Um, and as you go, you end up like upgrading your abilities. You get different types of attacks and things like that, which oop, um, can lead to some very nice progression systems and traversal mechanics, things like that. Ooh, okay, here we go. It's going to take a hot minute for me to get back into this. Woo. Um, but we're going to see how well this initially goes. Uh, boom. Beautiful. Um, just as out of curiosity, I'm not sure. I'm getting a few frame stuttering issues. Not sure if that's coming across in the stream. Um, if I can get confirmation if you're seeing that, I may adjust a few things on the um, the settings tab oh, before. Oh, I'm not sure if it is coming through. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and see what we can do to adjust that. Um... We pop a smidge. Yeah. Welcome to the stream, um, by the way. Hope it's doing well. Hope you're doing well. All right, how about that? Let's see if this is coming through just fine. Oh, see if we're still getting this error. Nope. <laughs> and weird, okay, that doesn't give Smidge, okay. Still dropping, okay. What I could do then, see if we can't switch this back over to full screen. We'll drop, hmm, keep that new resolution, see if that refresh. Um, seems to be a little bit better than having it borderless. Okay. I don't see why the refresh rate would affect this. It seems to be capped at a nice 50 now. Pretty solid 50. 
We'll keep an eye on it though, see if it's, it makes us, makes any problems for us later. Woo! And here we get some, do we get the, the beautiful dirt mouth scene? It's much better, there's still this sk occasional skip. Okay. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, they're trapped. That's a little rude. Um, I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quite silent. The other residents have all disappeared, headed down that well one by one. Uh, used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you two seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such a great thing after all. Relatable. Um, but this is going to be the main hub. Uh, stores and stuff as you go down and rescue uh, villagers and whatnot. They'll open up for different progression mechanics and things like that. Um, but right over here, there's also a, uh, a graveyard of sorts that will open up later on. For this key, I believe. Um... All right, we're going to see how well the frames may skip. If it does come to be too much of a problem, oop, I may, um, we may have to address some technical things off stream and postpone tonight's stream until they're resolved. Um, but it seems to be coming through a little bit better. Boom, boom. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, so the story for this game um, is actually rather interesting. You know, it's very Dark Souls in its nature. Um, thankfully, fall damage is not really a thing unless you fall off of the level or into spikes and whatnot. But... Um, the story for this is, is pretty straightforward. It's all very bug related, which is kind of awesome, um, like aesthetically speaking. Um, but there's this stuff that happens. You can see that they're kind of bleeding orange, which is um, a little bit uh, important for later on as like the, the story grows. But um, it's not very open. Um, with the story progression it's all very like closed out and secretive and stuff so um the way that the game explains it is um it's kind of through npc interactions and instead of like cutscenes and um grand storytelling it's all very like subtle um sometimes there's like uh um story plots through like murals and text and stuff but um, there's like this plague down here that infects people makes them all orange and stuff and we as we play a really big role in um what that plague actually is like our character itself um but they they kind of possess our, these little bug boys and turn them evil and that's what the orange stuff is is um infection um, I believe this is the way down here. Yeah, so we can't go back here yet. That's okay. We will just pop over here. Sweet. Um, I think I was going for... Um... I think I forgot which direction I was going. I was trying to find the map guy, but I think he was a little further south. But that's okay. We'll explore a few things here. Boom. Nothing bad can come from exploring, right? I think this is just the opposite direction. This leads back to the main area, which is not really where I want to be. Oh, yeah, this vessel shrine thing. 
So this is a very important um, point, the Temple of the Black Egg. Yo, what's up, dude? Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've got a strong look to you. That's a little rude. Coral, what's up, dude? I have, quest I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right in front of us. Great stone egg laying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives us a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do love a mystery. Thought you were talking to you when I said what? Um, coral? Something like him? Oh, it's okay. Um, I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. It's true. So he's a pretty cool, solid, solid bro. Um, he'll follow us around if we want him to. Um, but for now, we go off into the Great Yonder. We gotta go find Map Bro. I think we're going to go ahead and stop in to Mr. Grub Boy um, so that we can, I think, start explaining that mechanic. Um, so the grubs are collectibles. They're his children that have been lost in the great beyond or something like that. And the more that you gather, the more that you um, return to him. And the happier he is, supposedly. Which I think he is right over this way. Got these little fly things. Perfect. Yeah, Father Grub, I think, is over here. Or whatever his name is. Um, he has kind of a messed up story, though. But we don't get that until we get all of his children back to him. Um, speaking of which, every time you, you gather children of him, they, they appear in these little holes. Uh, but come back to him regularly, we will. Um, they I think that they're his children. They may be something more sinister. They may be... I, I don't really know... Um, I'm pretty sure they're like his, they're called, I don't know what they're called exactly. This is to the green way, I think. Um, but they're not, oh, hello. The Pilgrim's Way, travelers of Holiness descend their, through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted and all truths revealed. Cool. In any event, um, you're supposed to uh, collect them all, and if you oop, if you come back to him, oh, all right, um, he'll give you rewards and stuff. What's up, dude? Um, come down to explore these beautiful ruins. Don't mind me. Fun is for exploring myself. I don't really want to know what you do with yourself. Thanks, though. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on a mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Um, yeah, sure. 30 dosh. That's not a problem. LB, let's do it. But it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back this year whenever I'm finishing finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. It's very sweet. So I don't know if that opens the shop. Um, but yeah, now we have a map of generally the area um, that we want to go to. I was hoping to see... I was hoping to go over to... Um, well, first, let's go check and see if the compass is here. Uh, because the compass would be super nice. Very helpful. Um, whoop. Whoop. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Um, is this... I think I fell this way first. I'm not going to do that. Oh, it's skipping it again. Started skipping again. Okay. Go. Oh, boom, boom. All right, back up we go to. There we go. All 
Ah, uh, yeah, now the store's open. Hello? Bafanada. Zelda. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise he's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish you'd spend a little more time up here. Not, I've not much interest in retail myself. Let's see what we can do for a spell. Wayward Compass. Um... So these are badges. So these you attach to yourself, uh, except for the quill. Um, this is very, very important. I highly, highly suggest getting these as quickly as possible because they'll mark different important spots on your map. Um, these, you can use these for um, individual things if you'd like, but these will are automatic. Um, which are just like NPCs, shopkeepers. Um, the blue cocoons are for like soul and, and benches for save points. But the quill is the one that I usually suggest getting because it will mark where you've gotten, where you've gone and explored and where you haven't, um, which is super nice. So now if we look at our map, we can see uh, King's Pass and Forgotten Crossroads there, um, which is nice. But as soon as we head down here, um, should see some improvement eventually um hold on uh is it yeah that's it map and quill yes the quill can be used to update the map with newly discovered areas um so now when we are off the beaten path i think it will update to where we have seen um let's go Hmm. Cool, cool. Beautiful. Gotta love it. Easy breezy cover, girl. Let's go. Cool. Um, let's actually... Before we go here, I want to go and explore um, some upper areas first. See we, if we can mark them on our map as viable explorations. Ba -boom. Uh, I'm just going to mark this on for the green way. Should give us at least a second or two. Oh, maybe perhaps. Oh, hello. Oh, yes, we can't beat him yet. We need some other stuff. I think I remember now you have to go to a specific bench and then it fill or a you have to go to a bench and it fills in at the bench. OK, I think I, I think I'm following that now. As soon as you. Okay, let's pop down here. See what fun and interesting places are for us to explore. Ah, oh, yes, these worm boys. Ow, that's gonna get some needs. Oh, getting used to. Oop. Oh nope. That, that happened. Perfect. I'm so good at this game, I can tell. This is going to be such an easy playthrough. Ooh. All right, that did not work. <laughs> the bouncing, the timing for this thing is just awful. Okay, and almost, almost got this. Yay, I did it. Perfect. Easiest tra traversal ever. Well, that's what happens when you die. <laughs> you leave behind this little black shadow thing. Um, speaking of which, though, my map is now updated, which is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at 
where we are. What have we experienced? Ah, so you, so that that's all like filled out and stuff now. So now we have a solid understanding of where to go as well as where our shadow is. Um, so the shadow's the important part right now. Ooh. Um, when you don't have a shadow or if you die when the shadow's out, you're reverted back to normal. Um, oop. Or you have like half of your available soul that you can generate and your little vessel thing is broken. So you have to go and get your, um, your shadow self back and um, then you can get the rest of your, fill the rest of your soul. It doesn't affect your health or anything, which is kind of nice. Um, very pleasant, I would say. This, I think, is an optional area. No, it has an end to it. All right, where's our boy? There he is. Hello. Choo -choo -choo. Cool. Nope, I keep hitting circle to jump. Which is not the jump button. Circle is the heal button. Ooh. All right, what's over here? What do we have in this far yonder? Hmm. Poison. Gotta love the poison. Awesome. Okay. That's fun. Woo. I think we're still getting some frame issues. Unfortunately. Yo, be free, grub. All right. Um, so one thing to note, if you see down there, there's a gap in the water. Um, eventually, you get the ability to traverse through ass and stuff like that. And that is a place to come back for for some new and exciting things. Perfect. All right. Gotta love these frame drops. Um, is a place with all the children called the Grub Hub? Exactly. Um, there's no more appropriate name whew, than the Grubhub. Okay. Get some monies. All right. It's not food though it's another hub well um ow it might be food who knows depends on what that father does to the to the his kids i guess oh that's fun find rupees by cut, cutting the grass unfortunately you don't um you just find i don't think you get anything from cutting the grass or the atmosphere or the sorry the um the background stuff um you do get this though ah, which heals you up and fills your soul it's amazing cool so now we have a better understanding of what's out in the world for us to explore. There's a hot springs, which is nice. Um, now, we'll head this way to see what is over yonder. Uh, got some nice rupee things. Shells. I think these are shells. These are like um, roly poly shells. Um, you know, it. Those things are very subjective. Um, whether it's a hot spring or a moderately attractive spring, who knows? Um, okay. Here we go. All right. So we can't get up there quite yet. We don't have the double jump or the ledge grab or anything like that. So, um, we can't do that quite yet. So we will head over this way, which I think is the way to something, or I think the first boss area. Ooh, ow. All right, here we go. We, what does the high temperature body of water do? It heals you and refills your spring. 
or your soul, sorry. The um, lets you uh, refills up your soul meter and heals you full of damage. So it's kind of like a just like a healing spring of goodness, more or less, at least. What? Perfect. Boom, 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 boom. Um, a huge, em like all kind of Metroidvania type games, there's a huge emphasis on exploration um, in these titles. So it is important to explore all the nooks and crannies as you can, uh, especially when you get more traversal stuff. And because it'll unlock um, new areas of the game for you and um, potentially new uh, abilities and whatnot. Charms. Who? Dodge. Why didn't you dodge? Uh, resets your olfactory period. It. Yes. <laughs> it, that is exactly what it is. Um, so these rooms here are really important. Um, these rooms right here. Let's see if we unlock it now, or we have to wait until we get the next one. There's a bench, and there's one of these things. Toll machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert 50 geo. They're called geo, I guess. Oh, hello, buddy. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stageways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired, but over these many years, over these many years, and I've forgotten much. But the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch to the depths of Hollow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform, and I will take you where you need to go. So you have the option to um, go back and forth between um, your different platforms and stuff like that fast travel which is fantastic but before we do that i am going to rest here update my map um which puts us like right there and we're gonna head back to dirt mouth just for a quick second uh, i want to see if i can pick up that um compass to see where we're at um and of course open this side here oh oh no oh poo Bum, 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 bum. And we now open this, which brings us right back to the surface. I think that's the second out of the third door. Yeah, what's up, dude? Thought I'd never see such a thing. The stag station has opened. That building lay silent before even my time. Oh, I've heard the tales of the glorious lions, a web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. Did you visit the temple? A strange building I've heard, though I'd never dared the journey myself. The braver among us went there to pray, said they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. Wonder what changed. Blum, blum. All right, do I have enough? I don't have enough. I need 40 more. Hmm, it's a bit unfortunate. Okay. Um, it's alright, we'll come back later. Um, I think we still have more to explore down here. Any ways? If you turn their heads upside down, they're little floaty ghosts with dangle arms. The... What are? Just the, the bugs and stuff? But yes, I tend to agree. Um, this place, yeah. Once full of travelers coming and going, it seems much quieter now. It's true. Forgotten Crossroads, and I believe that these are free. These, um, it only costs a little bit to unlock the first one. Um, your hero and the NPC guy. Yeah, they do. He has horns. It's a long time ago, but I remember these highways and crossroads pulsed with life. These were the paths I first carried passengers through when I was young. These travelers, those travelers are long gone, yet I still remain. Now it seems it's just you and I and the furtive creatures scratching and squirming all around us. All right, so we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to go up now. 
I don't think this is the way to go. Um, because this, I think, leads to here. Ow. Oh, is that a grub that I hear? Find this wall? Yes, it is. Okay. Ow. Yo. Boom. Cool. Um, because that leads over to that big face thing. I'm not really sure I want to go down there yet. Quite yet. Yeah, let's open this. Yeah, because that's the shortcut up to this area, which I'm going to take a look at, see if we get can find the cool um, the Crystal Mountain music. I think that's one of my favorite tracks is the Crystal Mountain track. I think it's down here. Yeah, here we go. Into the Crystal Mountain we go. Oh, hello. Bury my mother, pale sunlight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. It's one of my favorites. We can sing something else if you'd like. I'll start. Okay. So what are you down here for? If you came to get wealthy, just plenty around. Just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's plenty for everyone. Cool. Bury the knight with her broken nail. Bury the priest something about a crown. I can't remember the rest of that one. All right, you're not, you're totally mentally sane. It's cool, mentally all there. All right, and up we go. Um, oop. This, I believe. Oh yeah, okay, so we can't quite do this yet. We can't go here yet. We need um, an ability that breaks that, and then we'll get to the next area. Um, but we can hit you for sure. And boom. Smash, smash, smash. Smash, 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 smash. Cool, cool. All right, so that leads right there. I don't really want to go all the way up. I don't think we might be able to actually. Here, go ahead and do that. Let's see what's over here. See if there's anything worth getting. Oh, it's this big guy. I forgot about him. Oh, there's a grub. Oh no. Oh no. That's all right, game. I didn't want to see that. Oh man. All right. So he 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 knocked me down. We're good. Uh, let's see where we're at with the map. Um, a little bit further. Mm. Um, I'm saying let's go down. Uh, I don't really need all that much soul for this first boss. So we're gonna hit this first boss, and then see how that goes um, those frame drops that we were just experiencing right now is kind of disconcerting um, but we'll see we'll see how it goes is this the right way to go I don't think this is the right way to go um, I don't know if these are like skeletons they might be they might be just skeletons or rocks or something there's a city this way oh all right, then. Smash, 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 smash. Boom, boom. All right. Chumpy guy, get out of my way. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I mean, I should probably go get my, my shadow, but I think I'll be okay without it for now. Um, uh, 
don't know if this is actually the way to the boss or not. I always do get lost in this area. Yeah, okay, so there's the boss. Right through there, but... So we're going to see if there's a... I think I'm off the map now. Um, there's a tram car here, which is important for later. We get some cool areas. Ow. Boom. Ow. Okay. So if we hit head over this way, can I oh, open door with a slot? What's this? Nothing. Is there something? Oh, there is something over here. Hello. And spikes? No, there's a door. Okay. Assuming we'll get something for this later. Hopefully. We'll see. Maybe. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Two more. Boom, boom. And slash, slash, slash. It takes four hits to kill those things right now. Not too bad. Um, where did all of my money go? Oh, that's right. I died. Um, so that is probably another good reason for me to go back and get all of my souls. Um, it's because I don't really want to make all that money back. I was really close to being able to buy a pin there, too. Um, all right. Come on, frames. Just a little bit more. And we'll be okay. Whoop. 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 Awesome. Another tram thing. Ow. Out of here. Beautiful. The bouncing is the best way to hit most enemies, uh, if I remember correctly. It's bouncing on them. Yo. Unless they're just like the simple crawly ones. Um, later In later levels, though, it can fail you. You can get punished pretty hard for bouncing on people's heads. Hmm. Yep, not going to deal with that. Don't have the light for it. Okay. I think it's this, right? Yeah, should be. Okay, yes, before doing the bouncing, you always get consent. Uh, that is an important stage. Uh, important stage of the process. Step of the process. There you go. Yeah, it's definitely important to do that before anything else. Otherwise, you know, what's really the point? What are you really doing? Um, yo, Mr. Phantom Boy. Nice to see. You. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Ow. Okay, I don't really want to try this again. Oop. Whew. All right, it's time to go. <laughs> I got my got my stuff back. We have enough to buy the compass, but um, I think we'll be okay. We'll do a okay. Where are we at now? We need to go down. Down, down, down to Goblin Town. Plum, bum, bum, plum, bum, bum. Through Hollow Nest itself. And now full health. Beautiful. Um, I want to go down one more, I think. Uh, we'll go down to this one. No, because this is the stag, but did I miss an, an off-ramp somewhere? 
Because if this is... Yeah. I might have missed an off-ramp somewhere. No. Or is this this off-ramp? Um... This goes here that... Oh, I must have missed... One here, maybe? Oh, obviously, because this one... Okay, that one keeps going. Okay. Yeah, I need to go this way. We'll see what's over here. See if there's anything interesting. Oh, a big guy. I don't want to deal with you, big guy. Please, Mr. Big Guy, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boom. Perfect. All right, where am I now? In this big shell room, perhaps? Oh, this is a boss, isn't it? I bet it's a boss. I hope it's not a boss. I'm not prepared to fight this boss. Um, I was hoping to beat Mother Grub first. But I think it's this boss. Ouch, 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 ouch. Cool, cool. And we'll heal up. Boom. Yep, I knew it. False Knight. What? So he's not exactly a complicated boss. Just kind of does that, and then you're supposed to... Yeah! Hit him until he's exhausted. Ouch. Just gonna go do that. Oof. I think three times the charm on this. Oh. Ow. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, it killed me. Oh, boo. Is this game teaching you to beat up chubby little kids? Yes, yes, that is the point, I think. Okay, so that was that boss. Um, I'm not quite ready to fight that one yet. I want to go fight the other one first. You beating on this dude's milky white essence makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yes, me too. Um, it does me as well. Um, let's go see where we're at. Da -da -da. I think it's this way. Perfect. Um, okay. Is this the way that I went before? I don't... I think so, I guess. It must have been... Oh, yes, yeah, because this soul thing's up here. Yeah, if we hit this soul thing, it should give us enough soul to go and fight this boss. Which I do want my my shadow things back, um, so I can get my my geo back. But it's all right. It's not the the end of the world. Then we'll go we'll go beat the false knight in a, in a second. Mother Gruz, let's go. Ow. Well, that was easy. More or less. Pretty straightforward, one might say. Um, straightforward of a boss. Yo, let's go. Gross. Let's knock him down. See, I feel like this is not exactly kosher for me to be doing this to to 
newly born offspring larvae -a. um but you know what are you gonna do i can't quite get there yet nope doesn't look like it Ooh. um all right and yeah this is what i'm looking for enter in hello much deeper we have to go who are you this old village i'm sly usually i live in an uneventful life up in dirt mouth the air in these ruins doesn't agree with me so it's best be getting back if you return above come and see me probably the friendliest face left there and i can't thank you properly for your good deed i don't know what i did maybe just cleared the mist outside of his eyes uh but cool i'm glad i could help and i beat myself a boss which is cool so i got unlocked the uh merchant and now I think we will go, um, hmm. We're gonna, I guess we'll go back. Because there's not much left to do about that, except for, Whip. Okay. Uh, whip. Let's go. Oh, okay, I don't want to die again. Boom. Okay. It's more health. Is this the appropriate? No, this is not the only way I can go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go this other way. Those fly things are bothering me. Ooh, I know what would be helpful. Oh, just kidding. It's all done. Where are we at now? We're underneath, so we gotta go up. As up as we possibly can get. Whew. Yes, this way. I don't think I want to go back to Dirtmouth yet, but I would not mind healing and saving. Um, although I don't think it saves that way map is updated to complete all of that down there sweet but if you notice there is a way out over there hmm. down on the bottom right if we run let's go get our souls back and for our geo back ouch boom anytime you can heal it's probably best to heal um, so that you're always generating more soul and stuff like that, but um, Let's see what we can do just gonna hop over that guy. I don't want to fight him That bothers me Although if you kill him you do get lots of um, geo It might be nice for grinding if you can pull it off, but um, the damage required is pretty intense um Okay. Ooh, there's a... I don't like that chime. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, it's, it's my soul thing. Ow. Okay. One and two. Cool. Let's go get it's this last guy. All right, let's go false knight. Ow. Yes, please. Thank you. I got full soul too, so now I can heal. Ouch. That was dumb of me. Cool. Ouch. Whew. Yeah, 
Yeah, all right, so we got two down. I don't know if we're doing enough damage to really make it worth it. All right, here we go. Oop. Dodge, dodge. Ow. There we go. Dodge, 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 dodge. Dodge, 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 dodge. All right, here we go. On third time's the charm. Oh, no, not enough. Not enough damage to kill him. Oh. Maybe enough damage to kill him now. I don't think I needed to kill him. But, oh. I got some city crest, huh? Well, that's fun. I like that that still is like... Tink, tink. All right, well, that was fun. Um, what did that give us? No. Um... Okay, that gave us... Focus this thing stone slab bearing the crest of hollow nice cap hollow nest capital city has an insert on the back that fit into a slot Okay, guess I don't mind Oh boy Look at all of that dosh look at all them chickens Okay, where is this leading us out to? Hopefully somewhere decent. Oh, there's a... Opens the... I don't know. I mean, we're stuck, so we have to be dropped back somewhere that matters. Um, I don't know if I like these skull things. Very skull duggerous. What is this? I don't remember much about this. I have to go in here, though. Oh, there's a bench here, too. Um, Ast Ancestral Mound. What's up, if you know what I mean? Snail Shaman. Oh, who is this creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim, a strange, empty face, and a wicked-looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Hollow Nest's corpse. But I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help. Sure. Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's perfect for one like you. Oh. Cool. What's that? Just knocked me out. <laughs> Vengeful spirit. To be to unleash the spirit, spells will dis deplete your soul. Replenish soul by striking enemies. Cool. Uh. Oh, you've woken up at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of this spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but seemed to have slipped away myself. Oh, ho, ho. now we're awake. I was wondering whether you would do me a small favor now, not as a repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're now friends. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. Um, it's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you are more than a match for it. Good luck with the small favor, my friend. Oh. Okay. Um, so now I can do... Yeah, if you tap it, you, you shoot out a little thingy-majig. Which is pretty cool. Um, it does use up your soul, though. So instead of healing, you have an alternative to healing now. Um, so if you need it, you can use it. No, no, no. Get out of here, you. Or you can use it to shoot a beam of holy justice. Man, this guy's really bad at internal decorating. Interior de decoration, I suppose. Um. Ow. Let's get you 
you out of there. Probably didn't need to use that, but it's fine, I guess. Um, whoop. Beautiful. And we're going to jump. Ow. Alright, we'll heal one and two and go into this with no soul whatsoever, whatever this beast thing is. Oh, I guess it's not quite. There. Oh, poo. Go. Mm-hmm. Doing so well. Doing so well. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I knocked it off. Um, that's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, okay. Is this something I can break open? Yeah. Um, soul. Ooh, yes, please. One, two, and three. Let's see if we can't fill up on that. Um, okay. Seems to be just two and three. Perfect. Some. Ow. Um, hmm. Nice. Smash, smash, smash. Smash, 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 smash. Yeah, give us some more temporary souls. So if you see up there, uh, the blue are essentially like temporary shields, souls like that. Oh, hello. Oh, now we can deal with this guy. And boom, if we do that, yeah, because now we can... All right, yeah, shoot, shoot your goo. Ow. Boom. Ah. Oh, that was a bit unfortunate. Okay. Cool, cool. Hey, we killed them all. And he gives us Soul Catcher equipped. A charm to activate its powerful abilities to equip a charm open the charms menu while resting at a bench okay I don't know what that soul kept oh no oh oh ho oh. so it's done then you've slain the beast the poor thing it must have been terrified of you it used to be quite docile but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient range still you did what you need what had to be done you have my gratitude of course we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine sure Oh, look, the gates between us have opened. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you're seeking, it will find you. A little creepy, but okay. Okay, thanks. Um, Polaris options? Nope. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now we have we have three notches, and we have none equipped right now, but two soul catcher. Used by shamans to draw more soul from the world around him, increasing the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with a nail. Um, Cool. So now, where are we? Uh, the Ancestral Mound is still solid. We are going to go... I think we're going to run back up. We're going to fall down here. Um, cross this threshold. And I think we're going to go back up to... Oh, hello. What is it? Sorry I missed you if you're feeling lost. Why not pop by our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area. Available now for an excellent price. Cornifer. Um, so yeah. We can go and once you buy a map of a new spot, like from him, or like you can get him from hit like an in progress one, which will be super helpful, or you can get a um, finished one, I think, from the store. Let me, I think that'll like show you areas that you haven't been yet, secret areas, stuff like that, um, out of reach areas. Um, 
just for a reminder as well. Did I go through there? I did go through there. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You notice as well, just really quick, um, there's light coming from right up there, which makes me believe that at some point you fall down through that. Um, I think you do at least at, at later on, perhaps, but charge. Perfect. All right. Let's see what's going on in the store. I think we have enough because, yeah, we have 700, so we should have plenty. Um, do you have a map for things that I need? Highly recommend if you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below us, try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on the map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings. Yes, please. Um, and then these two are for like markers on the map for later. Um, but I'm not going to deal with that yet because I want to run over to this boy. Uh, rest here real quick. Throw this on. Yeah, what's up? Oh, what a turn. Our shopkeeper's home. Just wandered back in. I hoped for grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain. No competition. That's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. A young couple's recently taken in the house beside the station. Seems they're running a map shop. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to take a larger house, especially given they were all empty, but she liked the look of that one. The way she has to bend through the door, I wouldn't put it up, put up with it myself. Um... Full of now, nothing more than poison's tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. That's very depressing, but yes. Yo, what's up, Sly? We meet again. How do you do? How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here selling old trinkets. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chances of survival. Ah, yes, mask shard. So, and then vessel fragments. So, mask shards will give you more health, I think. Sold merely a fragment of something larger still. Maybe you can make some use of it. Vessel fragment is a vessel, you know, the ghastly-looking orb things. I don't really know the aura about it, but it's quite rare, so I'll have to charge you a high price. Symbol key. Uh, fits into a variety of locks. Useful um, to poke around a place you don't belong. Gathering swarm. Leaving behind a lot of geo. This charm will make sure you find any loose change. Um, can be tough. Always get taking hits. Charm grants you more time to recover after taking damage. Useful if you need this. Oh, that's cool. Luma Fly Lantern. Why not both? Take this bright little fellow as your companion and light your way through the thickest darknesses. And Rancid Egg. Um. Yeah, so you do need this for that dark area later on. Um, these two will increase your health, I think. Uh, the more that you get. If I recall correctly... Yeah, so you get mask shards in and vessel shards. Um, yep, so let's actually take a quick look. Let's get you. Boing. And that fills up that. You need four to get another. I don't have enough for a vessel fragment. That's okay. Oh. Um, oh, that's fine. Um... We don't have any more for notches or anything, so that's any notches or whatnot. Okay, so I'm going to rest here. Um, I do think I am going to have to stop the stream uh, just to address some of these technical issues with the, the frames and stuff like that, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, I was hoping not to deal with things like that on this stream. Um, it seems to have followed us from Dark Souls. Whatever was causing issues there seems to be causing issues. I mean, you can see it kind of stuttering here already. Um, I'm going to need to do some digging to figure out what exactly is happening there. Um, so I am going to go ahead and call it quits on today's stream, unfortunately. Um, due to whether or not I can figure out the um, problems for tomorrow, we may do a makeup stream. We may not, depending on how quickly we can resolve these issues. Um, but on that note, I my sincerest apologies for not doing a full stream today, but um, perhaps next week. 
uh, or hopefully tomorrow. Um, but in any event, thank you for watching. Those of you that did, I really appreciate it. And um, we'll see you all next time. Okay, bye.